Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Nuck, and today I wanted to do a quick um, how to for a common problem. I haven't really seen any videos on YouTube about it. Maybe I'm just not searching the right thing, but pretty much I wanted to show you how to open your NAT type. And um, what I'll go ahead and open now is uh, my PVR screen so I could show you what I'm talking about here on the 360. So when you go into the Xbox Live um, lobby, pre-lobby, whatever, you're gonna see this right here, your NAT type. And mine currently reads open. Now prior to doing this, mine was always either reading strict or moderate. And you don't want that. You definitely wanna always have open because uh, that's gonna allow you the best chance of connectivity um, and it and allows you to just uh, be able to join more lobbies and have less problems because what I was encountering was sometimes I won't be able to hear every single person in my uh, in my lobby or group I wouldn't be able to hear them talk and that's due to connection it's due to the NAT type or sometimes I wouldn't even be able to join and we'd have to switch all these you know to all these different hosts and basically play um, ring around the rosy with it or whatever and, and until we found a host that I could you know that I was compatible with then then I could finally join and it just takes too long and it's just so much trouble so I feel like port forwarding is probably the best answer uh, to this so um, what I'm gonna show you today is pretty much how to open your NAT type so what you are gonna want to do let me go ahead and minimize this what you are going to to uh, want to do is open up your browser and let me go ahead and close this <clears throat> you're gonna um, type in www.portforward.com okay and it's gonna take you to this fantastic site um, this is a really great site I don't even remember how I came across it but um, you know, I guess I was just searching this one day and my buddy, a buddy of mine, Seafields, told me, he's like, dude, you need a port forward. And this was back on Black Ops. Actually, it might have been on Modern Warfare 2. I'm not sure. But this works for all Call of Duty games if you're having this problem. So what you want to do, it's got a list on the home page when you type it in um, of all the different router modems, whatever, um, routers. And I have a router slash modem, so that's why I get confused but anyways you find your brand and a lot of people have the Linksys so yours your model will probably be under here just look for the model number I have an action tech and I have a Q1000 so I'm going to select that um, now what this is this is just to add um, a service they offer to where you don't even have to go and do what I'm about to show you um, you could just click a button and they do it for you but uh, you know you could just skip that and come up here where it says click here to skip this advertisement and go ahead and click that get past all that now you're on your routers uh, home page or whatever and what you're gonna want to do is look for the game that you are trying to port forward and basically there's tons of games as you can see and so what we're dealing with today is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 so we're gonna click on that and here we go this is everything you need to know um, if you want to know what exactly port forwarding is there you go click on that right there that link and it'll give you great information it's probably not all in layman's terms so good luck understanding some of the uh, language and verbiage in there but anyhow here's what you're gonna want to do uh, in step one and basically I'm just applying um, everything that I do with my router uh, to this how to and hopefully you know you will be able to determine what you need to do in your uh, settings but it's pretty they got they got screenshots and it's pretty uh, step by step so first thing you're gonna want to do is uh, open up <laughs> sorry about that first thing you're gonna want to do is open up your router and the way you do that is you you open up another tab if you're in Chrome or, or you know reopen up your browser however you do it and you're gonna type in HTTP colon slash slash and you're gonna type in your IP address now um, I believe mine is is that right I don't know I think it's one I'm sorry 
trying to memorize this. Okay, so here's mine. Quest modem configuration for the Action Tech Q1000. Okay, so this is the screen I need to be on. Now, if you don't know what your IP address is, what you want to do, let me open this back up, is go to your main Xbox screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit this uh, main Xbox button. We're going to go over on the settings, go to system settings, go ahead and exit out and while we're waiting what you're gonna wanna do next is go to network settings um, I just go to wired since I have a wired but I'm sure it probably work the same on wireless um, so I'm gonna go to the wire network now at this point I'm not gonna go in here cuz I don't need to um, I already have it written down and open but you're gonna wanna go into configure network and once you click that a set of options is going to come up and it says IP settings IP address subnet mask and gateway and the gateway the last option is the gateway address which is going to be like a one nine or like a three digit number a period another three digit number a period and then one digit period and then another digit period so that's going to be your gateway and that's what you type in after that HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. So that's how I got to here and that's where I got the information from. Now back to the port forwarding page. Once you get there, as you can see, this is what was on mine. You know, it's going to tell me to go here to advanced setup. So just follow the directions after that. Click the advanced setup button on the page. Boom, I did that. Next step is to click port forwarding link near the left of your page. And my port forwarding link is right there. Boom. So pretty much the screens that are going to pop up next, and I don't need to do this because I've already done it, but this is the screen that's going to pop up next. Your starting port, ending port, and proto protocol, um, and your LAN IP address, which that's going to be your IP address. Uh, if you go to that Xbox menu that we talked about over in the configure network, it's going to be that second that second option, and it's going to be titled IP address. So what you want to do, you're going to have four different ones, at least for my router, you're going to have four different ones to enter. And if you look here at the starting port, it says 3074, ending port 3074, protocol is TCP so that's exactly what I'm gonna enter right there I'm gonna enter 3074 right there I'm gonna enter 3074 I'm gonna leave that as is I'm gonna put my IP address right there then I'm gonna click apply that's gonna save it and then you'll be able to see it down here on my mode on my uh, settings then the screen will pop up again and this is what I type in next starting port 27014 ending port 27050 TCP I'm gonna put all that information in there again along with my IP address click, click apply and then it's gonna be the second one that pops up I'm gonna repeat that these you know these steps I'm gonna do all four of these ports and forward all these ports whatever the literature is I'm gonna do everything it tells me to do and then that's it I'm done after I do all four of these ports or whatever I have nothing else to do except for one crucial step and uh, this is the step they don't tell you in here but it should be um, you should be doing this anyway you shouldn't they shouldn't have to tell you uh, but what you need to do as the last step is restart your Xbox and once you restart it your NAT should read open on the game and you shouldn't have any more of those problems and you should be good to go and be able to have that open NAT and just play your little heart out. So that's that's uh, pretty much all there is to it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll answer them as best as I can. Um, again, that website is portforward.com. Fantastic website. Very helpful. Great information on there. Uh, just read it a little bit. Get familiar with what port forwarding is and you know why it helps you um, I'm not gonna sit here and explain it to you because I didn't read it and I don't really care I just know that it works so uh, that's what it is it's your boy Jay Nuck like I said if you have any questions I'll answer them as best as I can if you leave them in the comments below and that's what it is peace